exactly what he's doing. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we're over here on the west coast of Florida. Beautiful morning. Sun's just coming up behind us right there behind the clouds. You guys have probably seen a lot of the shark attacks that are going on. The fact is that bull sharks specifically, but sharks in general here in Florida, all over the coast of Florida and all over the southeast, they're out of control. 70 to 80 percent of the fish that we catch that we get to the boat, we don't get to the boat because the sharks are tearing them up before we even get them there. So today we're targeting sharks. We're going to try to catch a big bull shark or really any kind of shark, kill that shark and eat it for dinner. It's our block of chum. Alright, we got sharks all in the water. So we've got a big mullet here for bait. And I'm just cutting off the tail. I'm gonna use about that big of a piece. Right, just like that. Ready to go. That's, this is actually my gator rig. That's what I catch all my gators on. Let's sling it out there a little bit further. Leaving my bail open. So I'm gonna need to let him take it with this circle hook. Let him take it, let him take it. Alright, I'm gonna close the bail. Yep. <laughs> look, 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 look. <laughs> he's trying to go straight into that deep water getting that grass. Exactly what he's doing. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do not want to get in the water right now. Sharks everywhere. Circling back around. Every time he does that, I... Every time he does that big head shake, I think he's getting off. Look, there he is on top. Oh, yeah. Uh, these are such, such powerful animals. Solid, solid muscle. They're built for endurance. They're built for speed. And I'm, I'm built for comfort. <laughs> Look like a nice spinner shark. Look perfect right there in the corner of the mouth. Just a little guy. I mean, big enough. He'd hurt you. What you don't realize about sharks too is they can spin, they can bite their tail if they wanted to. So just because you got them by the tail does not mean it's safe. Look at the remora stuck to him. There he goes. Bringing him in the boat. You ready? There he is. It's like a nice, about a five foot center shark. They remind me of so much of alligators. Just the way they move, the way they spin around, the way they tear up all your gear. <laughs> so he's 52 inches, so we're gonna de hook him, send him back in the water. He's not big enough. There we go. Alright. He's unhooked. Nice little shark, awesome fight. But we're gonna send him back in. There you go. Perfectly healthy. Got there's a bunch of big stingrays that have come in, so we're gonna try to make some cut bait out of this mullet and try to see if we can catch one of these big stingrays. Use the back of my dexter, that serrated blade. Sucker will cut through anything. So sharp. Good, good gutty piece about like that. Should be perfect. Just got picked up. Give it to him again.
What a stingray. Wow. Holy cow. A little bit of a tag team event. For sure. Wow. Definitely the biggest stingray we've ever that's a 120, 100, 120 pound stingray all day. Absolutely massive. Super cool creature, but he's gonna be dinner. So after we got this stingray in the boat, we decided since it is scallop season, to cruise on over to the spot and spend about an hour or so trying to get as many scallops as we can. getting almost a five gallon bucket full. I'm not gonna even pretend like I know how to clean a stingray. It's been, I've cleaned some, but it's been probably 10 years. But if you feel the stingray, if you look, this is all guts right in here. It's real nice and soft. And then the meat is firm right here and there's kind of a line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just cut these wings off to make it more manageable because right now this thing is so big we really can't do much with it and there's there's not a lot of grip I'm gonna use the back of my Dexter knife that serrated part and it's gonna help me cut through this cartilage once we get these wings off it'll be a lot more easy to a lot easier to manage so I'm gonna actually go in a little bit I don't want to waste any of this meat You can see that's a lot of meat right there. Look at that. I mean, one of his wings weighs about 15 pounds, 15, 20 pounds. That is insane how thick that is. Same thing on the other side. There's wing number two. nothing to grab onto, it's such a weird creature. How wicked is that? So that's what was in the stingray, an entire toadfish. Absolutely crazy. We're gonna eat that for dinner. Drop a thumbs up if you think we should eat this for dinner. If we get 5,000 thumbs up, we're gonna eat it for dinner. By we, I mean Kenny. We got this one stingray uh, wing here, and I just can't get over how cool they feel. They feel like a dolphin or a whale, just super smooth, super slippery, and um, so as you can see, this is the cartilage that's right here through the middle, just like a shark. They don't have bones, they have cartilage. Uh, it's still, you know, it's, it's pretty hard, but what we're gonna do is just come in here and just hug this cartilage and take our time. Trying not to waste any meat. Helps to have a really, really sharp knife. I'm right on it, so that's good. And just let that knife do the work. Very different meat than anything else that I really, I don't even know what to compare this to other than maybe shark. Just the way it looks and the way it feels. Very similar to shark. So if you guys want to have some action, whether it be redfish, trout, scallops, now's the time when the scallops are in. There's tons of them out there. Stingrays, sharks. Make sure to call Kenny. Can you give me your, te your telephone number? <laughs> uh, my phone number is 85, area code 850-838-6101. Real Epic Chargers. This meat is so unique. It literally pulls off into these little individual strips. And they look a lot like clam strips. So that, that was our idea and our inspiration. We're going to soak these in coconut milk, batter them in zatarans, and then fry them up in coconut oil. And enjoy them like a clam strip got some of this black and red fish magic and uh, we got a couple chunks of this stingray and we're just gonna season it and then throw it in this butter just so we can get a good taste of what this meat is all about all right here's the stingray nice and blackened see it's got like it's very very fibrous meat 
And I had Stingray about 10 years ago. I just remember it being tough, but I didn't prepare it, somebody else did. So that's my first Stingray in about 10 years. So here we go. Not tough at all. Super tender. Why does it have to taste like chicken? <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. Very tender. Very surprised. But that's delicious. It tastes like a sauteed pork chop. Pork chop or, yeah. Wow. You guys, so good. Excited to try these stingray strips. All right, here we go. Oh man. So Tell good. Tell me what it is. Stingray fish stick. Mmm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yummy. Want to try another one? Oh, that one. Want that one? What about you, Katie? Want another one? You can try it. Mm -hmm. Yummy. What do you think? What are you doing with it? You like it? <laughs> They're coming for more, so that must be a good sign. Like unbelievably tender. So I just dipped it in cocktail sauce, kind of like clam strips, but I was thinking it would be chewy. I'm not gonna tell you it's good. Anything on this channel, I'm not gonna tell you it's good if it's not good. I'm telling you, unbelievable. 10 out of 10, I mean, so good, so good. I can't stop. All right, so now we have our scallops. And it is early July, so they're actually pretty small this time of year. They get bigger as the season goes on. But we found out the best way to cook, one, cook them when they're little like this is save a bunch of the scallop shells. We cleaned them really good, and we're gonna just cook them on the half shell. So I'm gonna put like three or four per little shell, maybe five, sprinkle it with Old Bay, and then just put a little slab of butter in each and put them in the oven. I'm gonna keep an eye on them because they are pretty small, but it'll probably be about 12 to 15 minutes. Fresh scallops, first taste. Wow. Sweet, super succulent. Oh, man, just so good. And then you got these stingray strips dipped in cocktail sauce, kind of like clam strips. Cheesy grits, amazing southern Florida. This is a Florida dinner if there ever was one. And I'm sitting here watching deer out the, out the window here, feeding in the front, in the front yard. Got lots of deer in the food plot up front. So it's an awesome night. What could be better? Thank you guys for joining us on another episode of It's a Wild Life. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of the next videos. Until next time.